From the St. Ignatius Chapel at the Manresa Jesuit Spiritual Renewal Center in Pickering, Ontario. The National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents the Daily TV Mass. Welcome to the Daily TV Mass. I am Bishop Robert Casson. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by the contributions from our donors. The first donation is from the Guttler and Kerner families of Jordan Station, Ontario, for the living and deceased members of the Guttler and Kerner families. The second is from an anonymous donor from London, Ontario, for all their family members who have passed away throughout the years. May they all have eternal life with Christ. Our thanks to all donors for the gift of this Mass. Pope Benedict XVI shared that a good school provides a rounded education for the whole person, and a good Catholic school, over and above this, should help all its students to become saints. The Catholic Education Foundation of Ontario is an organization that promotes a Catholic education in the Ontario province. For over 40 years, they have done this by recognizing student achievement, research in Catholic education, and support of Catholic education leadership. Each year in the fall at the Father Patrick Fogarty Awards Dinner, the Foundation celebrates excellence in Catholic education through the Catholic Student Award Program. Please join us at the end of Mass today as we celebrate the student winners from every Catholic secondary school in the province who are being honored for their outstanding service to school, church, and community. We also congratulate those schools who are the recipients of the Michael Carty and Michael Monk Awards, recognizing their service to community. And finally, we applaud this year's Medal of Honor recipients, Michael Poutler and Anne Hawkins, for their lifetime contribution to Catholic education in the province of Ontario. Today is also the memorial of St. Marguerite Duville, the Canadian saint, and it is World Food Day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Dear friends, calling to mind our sins, let us ask God and neighbor for forgiveness. You came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God of mercy and compassion, who led to St. Marguerite de Duville to embrace the way of the cross and to devote her ardent love to assist the needy of her day, make us bold like her, we pray so that we may imitate your own compassion and have the strength to persevere until the day you call us to share in the joy of your saints. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. The promise that he would inherit the world did not come to Abraham or to his descendants through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. For this reason, it depends on faith in order that the promise may rest on grace and be granted to all his descendants, not only to the adherents of the law, but also to those who share the faith of Abraham. 
God is the father of us all, as it is written, I have made you the father of many nations in the presence of the God in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead and calls into existence that things that do not exist. Hoping against hope, Abraham believed that he would become the father of many nations, according to what was said. So numerous shall your descendants be. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, everyone who acknowledges me before others, the Son of Man will also acknowledge before the angels of God. But whoever denies me before others, will be denied before the angels of God. And everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. When they bring you before the synagogues, before the rulers and the authorities, do not worry about how you are to defend yourselves or what you are to say. For the Holy Spirit will teach you at that very hour what you ought to say. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends in Christ, 
I recognize full well that it may be disturbing for many people to hear Jesus' words today, particularly when he says, whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. And uh, people will say, this is scary. We have come to understand that all sins can be forgiven. Why is there one that cannot be forgiven? Is it that God simply gets fed up with our sinfulness and cuts it off at a certain number of times? The answer is no, that would not be possible. So what does it mean, the unforgivable sin? Consider it from this point of view. Jesus begins by saying, whoever speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. Whoever commits a sin against the Son of Man, which is Jesus, and including, as is sometimes suggested, the sons of men, or as we would say today, the sons and daughters of men and women, our neighbor, for example, those sins may be forgiven upon the condition of repentance. As we all know, it is the teaching of the church that sins are forgiven if we are repentant, if we decide to make a change, if we acknowledge the harm we've done, if we confess the sin, if we uh, try to make amends for the harm that has been done and resolve to do better, then there is no doubt that forgiveness is offered. But whoever speaks against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. What does it mean? What is the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is the life and the love of God the Father and the Son and the Spirit combined. The Holy Spirit is truth. The truth that God loves people and that God does forgive sins. But when a human heart is completely closed to God, not that God closes his heart to the person, but that the person closes the heart to God, God cannot penetrate that heart because we have free will. If we uh, uh, refuse to believe that we are forgivable, not just because we feel sorry for ourselves that we've committed such a terrible sin that we couldn't possibly be forgiven, but if we don't even believe that forgiveness is part of the issue or that forgiveness is even necessary then the heart is closed to God and the person cannot be forgiven. God does not force his forgiveness upon us. It's something like this. If I said to you, shake my hand, you would say, well, Bishop, I really can't do that. I know it's uh, COVID time, but um, you've got a fist. If you want me to shake your fist, I will, but I cannot shake your hand. If I want you to shake my hand, what do I have to do? I have to open it. In other words, I have to be open to God who wishes to forgive me. Let us pray that we are not in a situation where we commit the unforgivable sin and thereby condemn ourselves. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divine life of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. 
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O God, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me of my iniquity, cleanse me of my sin. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept the offering of your church, O Lord, on this memorial of St. Marguerite, and from it grant us the wisdom and strength for the work of serving our neighbor in unity and in joy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. And remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Sisters and brothers, at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Thank you. 
Please join me now in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart, as though you were already there. I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Permit not that I should ever be separated from you. Amen. Grant, O Lord, that the sacrament of which we have partaken may lead us to show your kindness and your compassion to all and prepare us for the joys of the eternal banquet through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace and joy. Thanks be to God. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass. For more information on the Catholic Education Foundation of Ontario, please visit our website. We now invite you to join us as we congratulate all of our Catholic Student Award winners.